So this is the first in the series of A to Z in human factors in diving. And the idea is to give you short two minute videos covering a number of topics across <clears throat> the concepts of human factors, non-technical skills in diving. And today we're going to start with A, which is A for awareness and situation awareness and understanding that there are different ways about thinking about this. The one that comes from sort of academia comes from a lady called Mika Ensley, and she talks about three different levels of situation awareness. Level one is the sensory stuff where we actually notice or we feel something, and that could be sight, uh, pressure, um, sound, taste. Um, these are sensory bits of information that are coming in. Level two is where we make sense of that based on our previous experiences. And in the concept of diving, it could be that we start to ascend, we're wearing a dry suit, and the dry suit starts to slacken off. Well, that means that the pressure must be expanding and I need to do something about it. And that's what level three is about. It is the ability to project into the future. And that is also based on previous experiences. It is very difficult to predict what the future looks like if you've never encountered it before. Now, Sidney Decker came up with this concept that trying to change attitudes towards loss of situational awareness. And he talks about loss of situational awareness, which is what you knew then compared to what I know now. I have an idea of what happens because I know what the outcome is and I can identify those relevant or important factors. When you're in it at that time, you don't know what the future looks like. So it's very easy to criticize afterwards and say they lost situational awareness, but it's a finite capacity. So situational awareness is three different levels, sensory, understand now and project into the future. We can develop that through practice and debriefing. So A in the A to Z of human factors in diving is awareness, situational awareness.